What's up guys right here? I just wanted to do a quick video showing how to use Roblox like default animator, like animation editor. So in order to find it you would just go to plugins and then you should see like this icon. It says animation editor. So then when you want to animate, you click it and you should get like a tab with like the timeline and stuff. So in order to animate an object, you would click on the object. Well, let me try a different object. Click on the object. Right. And then you can begin animating it. A uh, quick note, right? So, as you see, it's on like a like the the intervals of how it rotates and stuff. So those are affected by the intervals up here on the snap the grid. That's an actual studio. So let's say if I wanted to do 45 degree angles, then I'm gonna change this 45 degree angles. If I wanted to do move like say 10. Then the move, and it moves ten out. So yeah, uh, see so yeah, if I wanted to have a animation loop. So let's just make like a simple float animation. Uh, wait, hold up. Oh wait, and one more thing. So you see how the, the grid is like this and how it like matches the uh, orientation of the object. If you want to use world space, like I don't really know how to call it other than like world space, but you can switch it by doing control L and that switches from local to world. And you can switch back by doing that as well. Uh, let's just make a full animation. Alright. So, when we make the full animation, right? What I like to do is have like a slow animation. So, I like to change the how I say like the length of the animation so I would just do three right and this is in I believe intervals of 30 this is 30 FPS so if you go to the gear if you want to change the frame rate you can do 24 30 60 120 and custom we're gonna do 60 then we're gonna change this back to three seconds so now what you want to do is copy this like the the first keyframe go to the last like time stamp and paste it so you could just do control C control V now you want to go right here and this will be like the oh snap what the heck uh, oh it does 10 I don't know that. Let me change that. Just make it do like a cool. Thing. I want the shoulders to go up a little bit. And go out. Let me just look up a little bit. Okay, and there's some um So say if you wanted to like play the animation but you didn't want to like click the the play, you could just press spacebar and it plays the animation. 
and you see how it only played once, right? Let me do this real quick. And then we do that. So then we have that nice smooth transition. If you want the animation to loop, just click this button. It's just like a like a play button with like a rewind type thing. Just click that. And you can test it and it will loop. And that's how you turn on the looping animations. So now saving an animation, right? So if you want to save it but not export it, you would click the three dots, click save, and it saves it under the thing that you're animating. And the uh, the model anim saves these like all my animations, but it will save it in there. And if you want to find it again, you would just go there. I believe it's automatic save, and then it loads up the animation. If you want to export it, click export, create new, blah, well, we're just going to call it export. And if you want the ID of the animation, you can either copy like the whole link or you could just copy the numbers. I just like to copy the whole link because it's, it's much faster. Um, what else? animation priorities right so depending on what you're making if you're making like a let's say a sprint script and it's like a running animation you would use a movement priority and like say you have a combat in your game as well you would have the combat be action because it has a higher priority than movement so pretty much what this says is if it's if it has a lower priority, then the animation will be overtaken by the one that has the higher priority. So like if you have like idle animations, which are I believe default set to idle or core to my knowledge. But it's either one of those. And I just like to use action because action just seems very versatile. Um if you want to import animations go to import roblox and then let's do that and I just imported the animation um anything else oh not really okay let's say if you wanted to see like the positions between the two points you would drag this all the way to the left and then you'll be able to see the smaller intervals um, and that's it hope this video helped you out with uh, understanding the animation a little bit more and um, thanks for watching